Hi, this is a tutorial series on InMotion, which is a motion and dynamic simulation add-in for Autodesk Inventor. In this tutorial, we will be considering uh, applying a torque on a revolute uh, joint, which can also be extended to a cylindrical joint. We right click on Insert One Revolute, go to Define Torque. We give a torque value of say 0 0.0001 Newton meter, and we go to Simulation Player we go to simulator and start simulation and uh, since torque and force are dynamic properties we need to know the inertia properties of the parts and keep on iterating with certain values to get the desired result so in this case we seem to have given a lesser torque because of which the rotation of the insert is hardly seen we'll stop the simulation go back to frame 0 and we can uh, again we have uh, torque listed under force torque we can edit the value by right clicking and then say define torque and we'll uh, say 0 0.01 newton per meter so this needs to be iterated and it would come after you know what is the value okay we go to start simulation and the uh, torque is nothing but I into alpha uh, where I stands for moment of inertia and alpha is angular acceleration since we are giving a tons constant torque uh, I remaining constant ang angular acceleration will also remain constant since angular acceleration is constant uh, angular velocity will keep on increasing with time as you can see it has a slower angular velocity in the beginning and it varies linearly with time and the first rotation is being completed and the second one would take uh, lesser time to complete so this is how uh, torque can be applied to a s insert joint which can also be extended to a cylindrical joint yeah thank you